Hi, Cozy Paleons. Welcome back. My name is El Serene, and today I'm finally decorating my vegetable garden with an autumn cottagecore theme. If you're into cozy cottagecore design and video games, hit that like and subscribe button so you can continue to get decorating inspo. The vision that I have for my garden is practical and functional cottagecore, and functional enough so that I can actually update the theme depending on what season we're in. Feel free to follow along and decorate with me or just chill to this cozy decorating video. I do want to put out a disclaimer here that this garden is merely for aesthetics and my preference as I'm not optimizing all the veggies in different places for water retention, etc. Here's a quick top-down view of what the vegetable garden looks like if you're going by the grid. I'm going to start with fencing, finishing that up first. It's a lot easier when you're designing to kind of lay the foundation for the space that you're creating in the beginning. And I'm just using for an autumn theme, I wanted to go with browns and obviously fall colors. So I'm just using, I think it's the wood log cabin fencing. I could be wrong about that. Feel free to correct me in the comments. But it is one of the first fence items that you will receive in the game. Now that that's complete, it's time to finish our backdrop to our veggie plots. I've chosen the Spring Fever wood edging as the backdrop for each plot, so let's complete that. I was playing around with this item and I thought it was really cute. It's like very cottagecore aesthetic. That's the vibe it's getting, giving off. And so I really had to do that for each of the veggie plots. Next, we need to place down our pathing. I've chosen the sandstone flagstone paver. Full transparency, you will need a lot of clay for this path. And you may have to wait some time while it's crafting. So feel free to choose a different path if this is not your aesthetic or you just don't want to wait. Um, it did take like a couple hours because I had to start from scratch with these pavers. When laying down this cottage core path that helps to lay some pavers out first, place down where you want the larger stones, go back through, add medium and smaller ones to finish the look. You should end up with something like this, super cute and cottage core. Next up is tree placement. There is no right or wrong for placement of trees. I'm doing a mixture of symmetry and asymmetry here. I've chosen different styles and sizes for all of the trees, but I did choose a large juniper tree for the backdrop centerpiece since it's giving autumn vibes. Now that our main foundation is done, we can finally start adding in some decor items. My favorite part of building and any design is adding in the cute little details. I've chosen a lot of the fall items that you can get from in front of Ziki's shop, like the fallen leaves, pumpkins, floating candles, jack-o'-lanterns. I will also be adding in some of the spring fever lights which i have modified to the autumn color palette at the furniture modification bench then we can also go in and finish up adding in more various decor and florals makeshift items homestead items whatever you prefer i'm sticking to more of like a neutral tone so i'm going to be pulling some brown items mostly adding in some candles to fit our cottage core autumn themed vibe Thank you. 
Having the well near our garden is obviously a large part of this garden being functional. So it's really important as it's kind of one of the primary focal points to make sure that it's decorated in a cute way. I did end up moving the trees that I had next to the, um, I guess that would be called like a small pergola or archway. I added those next to the well instead because I felt like it was too cluttered in the middle of the garden. And I wanted to make sure that I'd still be able to see all the plants, what I need to water, what I need to weed. And, um, you know, I just thought it looked a lot better. I'm not gonna commentate too much over the next couple of minutes while I'm decorating. So feel free to just relax and enjoy the cozy vibes.
I also just wanted to say a big shout out to Nymphadora who hosted a 150 times cake party, a lovely host. And that cake party, without that cake party, I this build wouldn't have been possible because it is so expensive to buy all the pumpkins, the floating candles, the cute little mush or uh, the cute little leaf piles and leaf pathways, like the scattered leaves. Um, and so just shout out. All right, our build is complete and it's definitely hitting that autumn aesthetic that we were going for. I will show you some different camera angles and times of day next. I will also show you the top down view of the finished garden. If you are in the Paleo community, consider joining my Discord where we talk about all things cozy and gaming. I'm also looking to host some parties for cooking here soon once I get everything situated. I've also listed my socials if you want to follow me on those in the description down below. If you enjoyed your time with me today, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing, and turning on notifications to see more Paleo design videos. I also do various other design videos for cozy games such as Stardew Valley, Fields of Mysteria, Tiny Glade, Disney Dreamlight Valley. I appreciate everyone's support always. Let me know in the comments what you think of this build. Thank you so much for watching and stay cozy.